Hi everyone and welcome to today's special edition vlog. Today I'm actually going to be trying some food out from Starbucks. This is from their festive menu. I've just ordered um, about four things off this menu and I've just received it this afternoon. So I'm actually going to be giving my ratings on each of the actual um, bits and pieces that I got from the menu. Um, I'll tell you what I did get from the menu. So I got the Tis the Season Turkey Sandwich, the Praline Cookie Hot Chocolate, the North Pole, um, the North Pole Nut Shortbread and the Schmores Brownie. So I got four items from this list. So um, most of them are actually like food related, which I think is amazing. So I'm actually going to be giving my rating from Starbucks. I'm going to be showing you um, what they taste like. I won't be showing you what they taste like, but I'm going to be telling you what they taste like. Um, I think one thing in here contains cranberry, so I'm going to have to actually take the cranberry off. Um, but I hope you guys will enjoy this festive vlog today. Apologies for the lighting in advance. The light in this room is absolutely horrific. So I hope you guys can still see my face. I hope you guys can still see um, the food that I'm actually going to be showing you. I hope you guys enjoy this little vlog and let's get into it. So this is the Starbucks Tis the Season Turkey Sandwich. I'm actually going to take the cranberry off and I'm actually going to go and heat this in the microwave. So I think this will be the last, I think this will be the last um, thing that I try on the menu today. I've got the praline hot chocolate here, which, um, let me have a try. Mm. Oh, I can tell you, I really love um, hot chocolate in general. So this is the praline one and it's absolutely beautiful. Mm. Mm. That is beautiful. So it's the praline cookie chocolate. This has some semi-skim milk, but you can obviously choose your own milk. Um, and I got this via Uber Eats. So mm. not sponsored by Uber Eats, but um, there is a Starbucks up the road for me. But because I'm unwell, I'm not like gonna be going out in the cold just to um just to go and get some Starbucks, I'll tell you that much. But I'm really looking forward to actually trying out this menu. So the first thing I'm going to try out is this. So this is the um I think this is, yes, this is the North Pole Nat shortbread. Absolutely pretty pretty. This is supposed to have two eyes in it, and it only has one eye on it. But this is a shortbread cookie wrapped with white chocolate and has chocolate buttons on it. So it has some Smarties in the corners. I thought these are going to be like milk chocolate buttons, but they're actually Smarties. And it has the one eye. So I'm actually just going to um, bite into this now. Got to say, I like white chocolate in general. That is super sweet though. If you like milk chocolate, probably get milk chocolate. I don't think they even have this in milk chocolate. But I think they have a, a, a milk chocolate penguin version of this. Um, but I would say it's just actually really, really nice. The shortbread is really, really soft, very buttery. Chocolate, white chocolate is quite sweet in general. And this is really, really lovely. So I'm just going to take another bite. Pair the cookie with that whole chocolate. Beautiful. Really, really love that. So I've left the, the bare eye there, which I'm just going to try and enjoy it later. I'm now going to try the schmores. Um, schmores brownie that I got so this is what the schmore brownie looks like so this has um, lovely brownie toppings on there so I think this is the, the milk chocolate and then it has the brownie base and then it has the lovely marshmallow on the top here so I'm going to try this out see what it tastes like <laughs> again I'm pairing it with the um, praline hot chocolate that I got mm. goes really quite well together i find that this praline hot chocolate is a little bit more stronger than a normal hot chocolate it's almost as if there's a dash of coffee in there not loads and someone who doesn't really drink coffee um i can definitely smell the coffee from a mile away it is really nice though it's definitely a it's definitely a particular taste it's definitely not like the same as a cadbury's um milk chocolate or an options hot chocolate or an oval teen hot chocolate at all Feels that there's a little less cream in that as well or a little less milk so if you're someone who 
likes a bit more of a richer hot chocolate and um, definitely paired with a sweeter item like the Schwarz brownie or even with the um, shortbread bear and definitely pair those two up because it will just balance out the sweetness between the um, the biscuit treats and the, and the schmoz treats and also with the hot chocolate as well. So if you're looking for a stronger hot chocolate, this, this one is the praline cookie one. You definitely should get this one. This one's a really nice one. I feel like they've put a dash of coffee in there because I can smell the stronger essence of the chocolate. And because this isn't really like a milky or creamy chocolate, because they definitely put less milk, less cream, um, it's a lot more stronger in the smell of chocolate. So I feel like it's a little bit more richer. If you're going to get something sweet, like the Schmorz brownie or even the the bear cookie, for example, then you can definitely get the praline cookie hot chocolate because it'll balance the two out really, really well. Because the Schmorz cookie, uh, the Schmorz brownie, and then the cookie is a lot more stronger sweet scent. So if you definitely got someone who's got a sweet tooth, for example, definitely go for one or the other. That'll definitely balance it all out. But if you want to get both and you get the hot chocolate as well, then definitely get the praline one because it'll just balance the two scents out. So that's a really lovely treat of the lovely, um, of the lovely brownie and also the lovely cookie as well. Now we're actually going to try the Tis the Season Turkey Sandwich. So I'm actually going to take the cranberry off and I'm also going to go and heat this up. So um, let's put this in the microwave to heat it up and I'll be back in a minute. This is the Tis the Season Turkey Sandwich from Starbucks, part of their festive menu. So what I've done is I've managed to take most, most of the cranberry sauce off and I've actually been able to heat it in the microwave so I'm actually going to try a bit of it just to see what it's like so I'll just put it for 30 seconds in the uh, microwave just to see how it tastes and it actually tastes quite nice actually it's got a bit of turkey it's got spinach it's got bacon it's got like this sage and onion um stuffing in there which is done in like a spread but I really really quite like it um I like the fact that it doesn't have to uh, too much cranberry in it now because it will make it way too sweet I think so let me just take another bite. This is actually really, really nice. For Christmas, I don't normally have turkey. I normally have pork or beef or chicken. I don't normally have turkey, but when I do go to a Christmas dinner and I have turkey, I'm really delighted by it because at least then I know, yeah, hey, I have some turkey. But this is really, really lovely. I really love the taste. And um, with the cranberries, added a lot more sweetness. But um, I really like it how it is, and I like how it's really warm as well. I don't think this will make an ideal cold sandwich, but definitely as a warm sandwich, just heat it up in the microwave for 30 seconds. It's actually really, really nice and warm to eat. So I definitely would absolutely get this again, probably just without the cranberry and a little bit more heated, but this is really, really delicious. So the Tis the Season Turkey Sandwich, really, really lovely sandwich. I'll give this an 8 out of 10. I think minus the cranberry is absolutely fine. Heated, absolutely fine as well. I don't think this will make an ideal cold sandwich. I think a lot of people do love um, cold turkey sandwiches on Boxing Day after obviously the main after the main day has ended and everybody lounges around between the 26th and the 30th when nobody knows what day it is or time of the day it is or what week it is, what month it is. I think for those kind of occasions, totally go for it. But this is a really, really lovely sandwich. Um, I give it an 8 out of 10. I think for the Schmores one, for the Schmores um, brownie, I give this a really lovely 8 out of 10 as well. It's a tad bit sweet, but um, if you like sweetness and you have a sweet tooth, then go for it. So this is an 8 out of 10. I'm going to give the um, one hide um, shortbread cookie. Um, the bear, um, I'll probably give this an 8 out of 10 as well. Again, it's just really, really sweet. I do love the white chocolate. I too love the fact that they put Smarties and chocolate buttons on there, which I think is really, really sweet. So I give this an 8 out of 10 as well. And for the last item, which I tried first, it was the um, praline cookie um, hot chocolate. Really, really lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. I'll give this a 9 out of 10. Again, it just tastes a little bit more stronger than a normal hot chocolate. It's almost as if they put some coffee in it. Because I can definitely smell it. And it's definitely stronger than a normal 
um, than a normal hot chocolate. So I definitely give this a 9 out of 10. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this lovely Starbucks festive menu food vlog. I um, hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, if you like these kind of um, food vlogs or festive menu vlogs, then please do let me know. Please do leave a like. Please do leave a comment. And uh, please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.